Hey everyone, it's me Olivia and welcome back to part two of my closet clean out series. <laughs> If you haven't watched part one yet, I would recommend go checking that out, or you can watch them out of order, it really doesn't matter. But in part one, I tried on all my like tops with short sleeves and stuff like that, and in this part, I'm gonna be trying on all my hoodies, sweatshirts, sweaters, and anything else along those lines. There's gonna be one more part to this video, which will come out next week, and it'll be my pants and dresses and stuff like that. Like I mentioned in the last video, any clothes that I decide to get rid of or donate, you guys have an option to buy them from me, which will be very, very cheap, I promise. Like very cheap probably only pay shipping you can dm me on instagram if anything in this video you're interested in or check out the last video to see everything that i donated there and let's get right on into it the fact that these are only my hoodies I didn't think it was this bad. Well, we're just gonna get right on into trying it on and I have a feeling that I'm not gonna be able to let go of most of these hoodies cause attachment issues. This one is really cute. It's kind of thin. It's not the best quality, but I love brown and I love cats and it's too cute to just not style. So here is a Joshua Bassett merch hoodie, which I basically have two of these. Um, one's just black and then this one's white and they say a little bit of different stuff, but it's basically the same thing. It has the three songs from the little EP that you drop on the back, some lyrics, and then Joshua Bassett and stuff on the sleeve. And I already know I'm gonna keep the other one. I'll try it on for you though, but yeah, I'm keeping both of these. I just realized my ring light was not facing me for those first few try-ons, but I fixed it now. Anyways, this is the other Joshua Bassett hoodie, and like I said, same thing, just different color scheme and different lyrics. This one's a bad word, but I'm keeping this. Next, I have this Seniors 2020, the one where they were quarantine hoodie, which this is just too iconic to get rid of, you know? I was a senior 2020, obviously. Stop playing with that bad girly. Stop it. And I was quarantined, so uh, keeping it. This one's really comfy and it's really cute, but I'm not the biggest fan of black hoodies because I have cats and their hair just gets all over it. So I don't wear this one that often and it doesn't have any sentimental value. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. I have this Stranger Things Scoops Ahoy hoodie or Scoops Troops. I don't know what to do with this. I like Stranger Things. It's a cool hoodie, but like it's a black hoodie. This is gonna be a maybe. Let me know what you think I should do with it. This is my Phineas merch hoodie. I'm gonna keep this just in case I ever go to his concert so I can have merch for it. And also, it is so gross. I know no one would want to buy this because of all the cat hair that is ingrained into the fibers of it. There's no recovery. So I'll just keep it as a trashy hoodie. This is merch from The Office, the TV show. I like how simplistic it is. Like it's not in your face like merch. It has like recycled stuff on the arms, which I love hoodies that have designs on the arms. I know it's black, but this one I'm definitely keeping. Next I have this cute little purple hoodie. I think it says LA California with a flower. It's cute, but it's not given much. It's not that important. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. I love this with all my heart. Like. Yes, please. Keeping this. I have Emma Chamberlain's merch. Uh, it says, don't do it. And then my cats like to go crazy only when I'm filming a video. But then this sleeve says, do it. And then it has one cat that is like the bad conscience and then good conscience. I love this hoodie. It is so cute. Perfect design. Keeping for sure. Bless you. This is a hoodie I got from Ashes the Fault Line Tour. Actually, no, it has nothing on the back. But it has ash on the sleeve and then like a dagger. I really like this. I just went, just bought this, keeping it. This is also Stranger Things merch. And I think because I have this, I will keep this one and I will get rid of the Scoop Troop one because of it being a black hoodie. And I'll keep this one as some sort of Stranger Things merch for me to have. Boy, you wanna say hi? Hey buddy, say hi. Mwah. I love you. Oh, I love this one. Everything about it, I'm keeping it. This is a queen hoodie and then it has this on the back. I'm gonna be selling this one. I just never find myself wearing it. Look how red my arm is getting from just taking these on and off. Sensitive skin sucks. This hoodie is just way too iconic and so cute. 
and it has a little flame right here. I'm keeping it. So this is like huge, but this is the Billie Eilish hoodie I got at her tour. And oh my God, please, no one get me in trouble for this. I didn't do anything, but I bought it and I was waiting for the charge on my credit card and it just never went through. And like, I signed too, I'm so confused. So I don't know if they got their money, but I certainly did not pay for this or any of the merch I got at that concert. So uh, thank you to that broken card reader or whatever. But uh, yeah, I love this and I'm so blessed that an accident happened. I actually just thrifted this like three weeks ago. It's a champion hoodie and I got it for like $5, I think. Now just seeing the massive amount of hoodies I have, this is really not much of anything. So I'm gonna get rid of this. So this says Karen looking for your manager and on the back it says certified complainer. I really like this hoodie. It's my only pink one left. So I'm gonna keep it. It might be a maybe I'm getting rid of, um, but for now it's a keep. So this I've had since 7th grade, I believe. I have to keep it. Teen Wolf movie is coming out this year, and I love styles, so this is keeping forever, honestly. I just tried this on, but it was not recording because I'm stupid, but it's just a cropped hoodie without pockets. It's really cute, but I'm not a big fan of cropped hoodies without pockets, so I'm gonna get rid of this. And then my last hoodie is this Harvard hoodie. It is really cute. It has like this cross thing going on up here, but I don't go to Harvard and you know, it's fine to rub a college that you don't go to, but I feel like this could be put in someone else's hands that'll enjoy it more. It's thrifted. It is from the actual Harvard like bookstore, so that's pretty cool, but I'm getting rid of this. Okay, so those were all my hoodies, and there's seven that I'm getting rid of, which is way better than I expected, because I recently went through those hoodies trying to get rid of them, and I just couldn't part with it. Kind of proud of myself, but like literally, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but I have a rug burn from trying on all those hoodies. But I'm just going to continue this video anyways, and just probably end up bleeding by the end of it, but that's okay. So we're gonna move on to my sweatshirts. Okay, I lied, it is the next day that I'm trying on my sweatshirts now, but let's get into it. This is one that like is a little bit too small for my liking, but I love the color and I love the eyes on it, so I'm gonna keep it. This is such like cute like grandma vibes. Like I don't know if I need it, but like I really want it. I'm gonna keep it. I honestly don't see myself being able to get rid of any of my sweatshirts, so don't be shocked if I don't. Here is some Joshua Bassett merch, just as like EP cover and it's yellow love that okay these are all just sweatshirts so i'm just gonna hold them up at this point because i still have that like rash pain on my arm and they all fit relatively the same but this one i know i'm keeping i always get compliments on it and you know i love a good compliment this one i've had since sixth or seventh grade and i love evan peters and i still do so I'm keeping it. This one is so cute. It has like a like a tree with like mushrooms and stuff and then just mushroom vines on the sleeves. And this is like my newest sweatshirt. I'm keeping it. This one is really thin and it's kind of cropped, but I think it is so cute and I actually have like a perfect outfit that I love wearing this with. So I'm gonna keep it for that reason. But if I didn't have that perfect outfit, I would get rid of this just because of the quality. Chicago, I don't know. I really like the orange, yeah. <laughs> keeping it. Animals are a special kind of antidepressant. This was a birthday gift. I begged for it and I think it is so cute. And there's some good memories with this, so keeping it. Here's another Billie Eilish merch that I got for free. So it's that and then this is on the back. Uh, keep. This is such a random one that I thrifted. It reminds me of like the Got Milk? Got Moose? I've never been to Vermont, but I love this sweatshirt so much. Like, yeah. This is one of my favorite go-to sweatshirts. It says Teenage Dream. And then on the sleeve, it says, where's my teenage dream? If you can't tell, this is Olivia Rodrigo merch. I love this. I love the color and the fading of it. Forever mine. Here's the last one I have. It's really cute. And it has like this little collar moment. It's a newer thrift find. I'm trying to think. Is this worth keeping? Yeah. This video just goes downhill from here because I lost a complete section of trying on stuff. So basically I tried on two jean jackets, three zip up hoodies, and two windbreakers and I decided to get rid of one of them. But I'll post a picture of that one at the end but that footage is gone. And then you'll see soon that my camera dies as well so this video is just kind of a flop. 
Okay, now on to more like sweaters and stuff. I'm gonna try them on over this t-shirt so it might look a little weird, but this one is like really cute, but I don't know how bless you. Don't know how often I'm actually gonna wear it. I think I'm gonna get rid of it. Yeah. I got this huge, it's like a men's large yellow like Izod sweater with these cool like square patterns. I bought it for my brother and he didn't like it that much. And I thought I'd keep it, but honestly, it is way too big for me. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. I think that this sweater is adorable. I have it matching with one of my best friends so I'm gonna keep this okay my camera battery died so now we're on my phone and this angle is a little weird I don't have a phone tripod so just forgive me this is a hundred percent a keep oddly enough it is a size small but it is huge but this is a keep uh, but funny story I swear every time I have worn this TMI but I just have bad bowel movements something about the sweater but that's not gonna stop me because it's too cute this one I thrifted and I love the design and it has like this little color the back is just plain and I'm gonna keep it if it fits me so well. This sweater is very soft. It fits me well. It's so cute. Gonna keep it. This is like the same as the purple sweater and it's just not giving me what I want. Not my style that much so I'm gonna get rid of it. This is like a very unique find that, that my boyfriend actually found at the thrift store and I was like whoa good catch. It's a Tommy Hilfiger like short sleeve hoodie but like a deep v-neck and it's green. I think it's cute. It's unique. I haven't actually worn it yet but I want to try to give it a chance and style it. Don't knock on the kids section at Target because you'll find something like this. I think it's cute and it's really soft. I'm keeping it. This is my boyfriend's favorite top on me, so I have to keep it just for that reason, but I also like it myself. This is one of those staple pieces, just a simple black cardigan, really cute gotta keep it. I'm not gonna try this one on but I already know I want to keep it. It's just like more of a fitted white cream shirt with a pug in the middle. Yeah. This one's probably gonna look a little weird with the t-shirt underneath but you know I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. I never wear it and the sleeves just are a little too tight. I don't like the sleeves. They feel like a little constricting right here and that's kind of what this is giving. Although I do have a t-shirt on underneath but still I'm not in love with it. Got this cool Harley Davidson long sleeve shirt. Keep. I'm not gonna try this one on, but I know I don't want it anymore. It's actually like a kid's size 10, 12, but it definitely fits like an adult extra small or small, I'd say. It is really cute. It's like Mickey Mouse right here. It's actually super cute, but I never wear it, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Here's another one that I'm gonna get rid of. I loved this shirt for a while, but I just have not touched it in probably two years now. But it's a long sleeve black tee with a little race car. Not even a race car, just a cool red car. It's cool, it's nice, but I'm getting rid of it. This is like a navy gray, black and white striped shirt. And I'm only gonna keep this for like layering, like putting like t-shirts over it. Other than that though, I never wear this, but I'm gonna keep it for that reason. In the last video, I explained how like Olivia Rodrigo sour first merch collection which is kind of a flop on a lot of things and this is one of those don't like it don't like the material does not look like the picture so i just don't want it so i'm gonna get rid of it this is really cute not gonna try it on with this top and again my arms are rubbing but <laughs> it's just like a gray it's kind of a weird material not gonna lie but it's cute and I recently got it, so. Next we have some turtlenecks. I'm definitely keeping this one. I actually wore this to Sour Tour. I'll put a picture right here of what it looked like. But uh, yeah, I'm keeping this. This one I bought because I thought it would look good for Sour Tour and then I hated it. So I'm getting rid of this one. And both of these staple pieces to have, so keeping. Totally forgot I have a black one too. So also a staple, gonna keep. This is from the Ash Tour as well, the fault line and it is so cute and i just went so why would i get rid of this i'm not this shirt is so cute i love the colors i love the color blocking it has a cute collar it says newport beach california i've never been there this is actually just from forever 21 but i'm definitely keeping this just a basic white long sleeve for layering keeping this I have this flannel, which I have not been in a flannel mood lately, but I go in and out, so I'm gonna keep that for when I'm back in that mood. Plus, I think I thrifted this for a dollar, so. Yet another one that I'm gonna keep for those flannel periods of my life. I have two sweater vests, which I love dearly. Yeah, you won't catch me getting rid of these, sorry. I think I put this on backwards, but you get the gist. When I thrifted this at first, I was like, eh, I don't know if I like it. I don't know if I like the colors, but then just fit me perfectly. I love this sweater so much, so I'm keeping it. 
This one's also really cute and cool. Has the collar thing again. Stripes, cute colors, keep. Next I have this little cardigan. It is really cute if it's buttoned up with like a colored tank top underneath. So I'm gonna keep it for basically just that. Other than that, I would like a more flowier white cardigan, but I don't need that right now at all. And we're on to the last two things of today's video, which I'm not gonna try these on either. I'm sorry if you really like me trying them on. I just, my arm needs a break and I want to pump these videos out for you. So here's this that I'm definitely keeping. It is really cute for layering. It actually came with like a built-in tank top underneath, but it was kind of weird. So I cut it out and there's that, keeping it. And then this will be getting rid of. I never wear it Yeah, It's like just too preppy for me. So I'm gonna get rid of that. So I got rid of 10 of those items and I think there were seven hoodies. So that's only 17 items this video. Not as good as last video, but still not bad. So that concludes part two, which included my hoodie, sweatshirt, sweaters, and just the rest of my tops. Hopefully you enjoyed. I know this one was not as well put together of a video as last one, but hopefully it was still enjoyable and you're excited for part three, which I trust me, I will try everything on in part three because it's mainly pants anyways, so my arm won't be affected. But yeah, that is this video. And again, if you're interested in any of the items, I will have them actually. I decided to post them on my Depop, but you can still Instagram direct me directly if you want for any of the items. And if they're not sold on Depop yet, then we can talk about getting those to you. next week's part three the final part and i love you guys so much Smile.